Filipino American cuisine has been present in America ever since Filipinos moved there, but only recently have they come down from underneath and people started enjoying the meat based, flavorful, and fried food that is known as Filipino food. Filipino food has gone through its evolution of adapting other cultures' food practices into their own, or borrowing the food concept into their own. Filipinos took their food and debut it as they came to the America by presenting it in catering and opening up the Philippines' most popular food chain, Jollibee. There is also a long list of different Filipino types of dishes that represent Filipino Americans. Cultural influences The idea of taking food from other cultures makes Filipinos in a way, a culture thief. Although they would take the ideas from another culture, they didn't necessarily steal the idea, but instead just took the ideas and changed them in a way to make it their own. They adapted their own dishes with other cultures. These culture included Spanish, Japanese, and Chinese. Filipino-American food can also be described as being a way to diversify a dish into different flavors and recipes while not taking the Filipino culture aspect out of the dish. Chinese and Japanese influence Filipinos created their own dish called ponset. This idea continued into creating a vast variety of different types of ponset. They made it into soup dishes such as miki or sotanghan. They took the ponset dish and made different versions of it based on the ingredients. There was a seafood version of it, a cheaper version of it. China also aided in helping with the creation of the dishes called kakiam, shapao, and siamai. <laughs> Spanish influence Another way that they are presented of taking idea from other people's culture was when the Spanish came they brought different ingredients that Filipinos later included in their dishes. Once these ingredients were introduced, Filipinos took the garlic ingredient and became an essential ingredient to use when anything is being fried. American influence American influence on Filipino food is how some authentic meal was turned into a frozen, defrost, cook it however one pleases, and enjoy. This technique was used on Filipino dishes when Marigold Commodities Corporation teamed up with Dita Meat Food Service Company to create these frozen Filipino meals. They started in Austin, Texas, and released only a few dishes that would present incorporate the meat of America with the flavors of the Philippines to create Filipino-American food. Topic. Types of food There were four of these Americanized Filipino dishes released into Texas under the work of Marigold Commodities and Dita Meat Food Service. One was beef tapa, created by using Texas meat, ingredients such as garlic, citrus flavors, and soy sauce to marinate it, and finish it off by putting it on the grill or to fry it in a pan. Another dish is the pork longaniza and to sum it up as a whole, imagine sausage links, but Filipino style. Then the last two are called tocino, but the difference is chicken and pork meat. Restaurants Catering Catering has always been a big thing for Filipino restaurants to have, and they are continuing to continue this trend in many restaurants such as Sunda in Chicago and Purple Yam in Brooklyn. This has been such a big idea for Filipino restaurants because this could be the debut of their restaurant in trying to start up, or it could just be another way of spreading and finding new consumers. They have also continued to sell typical Filipino dishes in bulk such as lechon. After a restaurant gets big with catering, and getting their name out there, they continue on to actually becoming a sit-in restaurant and bringing in their usual customers to just get a dish versus the bulk amount. <laughs> Jollibee Jollibee is a fast food restaurant that showed to be in eight countries with 2,316 stores. This still growing restaurant was started from an ice cream store and grew into the nationwide restaurant it is today. 
It has become such a big and diverse company called Jollibee Foods Corporation (JFC) that it has chains that stray away from the original Filipino-style burger and went into things such as pizza, bakeries, breakfast, tea house, and even Chinese food. As stated, this was a Philippines original hamburger joint being the equivalent of McDonald's, but what makes it stray from the rest and keeping its Filipino roots? It did this by having food that was locally popular such as the Jolly Hot Dog Taco style, Chickenjoy with rice, Amazing Aloha Burger, and the Palabuk. Palabuk is a noodle dish using ground pork, spicy sauce, boiled egg, and shrimp. Other than just the original restaurant called Jollibee, JFC has created the Chinese-style restaurant called Chowking, the Filipino bakery called Red Ribbon, and the pizza place called Greenwich. Types of Filipino-American dishes There are many different Filipino dishes and they can be categorized by soups, meat dishes, beverages, and desserts. Things that would naturally describe any typical Filipino-American dish can be a soup, ulam any food, canon rice, type of meat, fruits, and dipping sauces. Of course any culture will have a huge variety of food, but these foods can be categorized into their individual sections. The first section to talk about is the soup section, this section can include many different soups, but some may include things such as mungo guisado masaba. This soup starts off with the base which is mung beans. Then the rest is basically picking a protein which can be pork or shrimp. One other soup dish would include panzit molo. This is basically a Filipino style of the Chinese wonton soup. The next section would be the meat dishes. Of course like soup, there are many different types of meat dishes. One dish is called adobo. This dish can be made in two ways, one with pork or with chicken. After choosing a meat, you take the dish and cook it with the use of vinegar, soy sauce, and garlic. Of course any dish has its variation down to every ingredient possible when making the dish, and adobo is a dish that can have many different possible variations. Suman banana leaves that contain sticky rice that can be dipped in sugar to make it sweeter if necessary. Taho is a dessert that uses a syrup and boba inside of a jello-like soybean material. There are numerous amounts of different Filipino dishes, and these are only a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> Staples in Filipino food Rice Rice is such an important part of Filipino dishes, whether it be food in the Philippines or Filipino-American food. Rice is a staple to Filipinos more than how cereal is known to be a basic breakfast food. It is used to help intensify some flavors, but it is not just limited to this. The rice can be used to create other Filipino dishes like puto and babinka. Puto can be described as being meat-filled, ube-filled, turned into cakes, or even eaten with other Filipino dishes, and it is made by taking rice and making it into flour just as babinka is, these are the equivalent to how breads mark Christmas for the German, and puddings for the Englishman. Rice is also created into a dessert called suman. Suman is a sweet rice that is wrapped in a leaf from a coconut or banana. There are so many uses to how rice can be used in the Filipino culture besides it being the typical side for a meat dish. Topic: <coughs> Coconut. Coconut just like rice is another staple in Filipino dishes. It is known as buko in the Philippine language and can be used in drinks, main dishes or desserts. There are dishes that are native to a specific region such as how in Quezon they make a dish using a leaf-wrapped shrimp, buco strips, and cook it in buco water. There is another region that uses buco in a different way and that is to mix it with chicken and ginger and cooking it inside of the buco, and they also make a noodle dish where the noodles are made of coconut. Then the white insides of the coconut are used to make milk, jinatang, halo halo, etc. The use of a coconut is also very prominent in Filipino dishes. Filipino-American health Food and health 
A 2012 study across Asian American subgroups in Southern California Chinese, Filipino, Korean, Japanese, and Vietnamese Americans found that Filipino Americans self reported the highest body mass indexes. BMIs. This is because after the migration of Filipinos to the U.S., their diets changed and showed to have increase in energy dense food, processed food, decrease in fruits, vegetables, etc. This seems to have has a negative effect on the body, leading to increased body weight and other health related problems. Specifically in Filipino American diets, there was an increase in milk, meat consumption, less starchy food, and snacks. This increase in eating by Filipinos has led to an increase in the calorie intake. This increase was almost doubled and along with it was a double in protein consumption and triple consumption of fat. U.S. and Canada There was a study done in Canada on the average Filipino woman's health focusing mainly on the idea of body size, eating, and health. Western culture has spread an idea that there is a concept of healthy and this concept in terms of woman would be that there is an association with being thin as attractive and vice versa for being fatter. The study was then analyzed and what was found is that there was a risk of being fat associated with eating rice and an association of being thinner when watching fat and rice. See also Filipino cuisine Filipino-Americans <inaudible>